this is what it's come down to. Disgusting clickbait. Peter, I'm sorry if you're watching, which you probably are not. I'm not proud of myself, but you know, you've got to play the YouTube game sometimes and I've never clickbaited before. This is a first, okay? And if this does well, I might make a habit of it. We'll see. Today, I'm bringing five Premier Pro tips in three minutes. Peter McKinnon did 10 in about 17, 18 minutes. I'll link that in the description below. I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly recommend watching that if you want to learn some Premier Pro tips. But start with this one, then go to that one. So tip number one is C and V. Now, hotkeys are always obviously good to learn, but on Prem, these ones are the cornerstones as far as I'm concerned. This button here, the razor tool, and this one here, the selection tool, C and V. You'll be using these a lot. Say you jump into this footage, this is a video that's coming next week. So rather than click in here and here in order to faff around with the timeline, C, cut, cut, V, Bosch, done. Cheerio, bye. When you're working with a big project, this is gonna save a lot of time, trust me. So tip number two is color mats. Now, Basically, you just want to put a plain colored background, incorporate it somewhere into the footage. So you see on this bit of footage, I've got my five and three logo, but actually if I hide this layer, it's not on a white background, okay? I've had to add that in over here onto project, create a new item, go to color map. These will be defaulted to your project settings, so they should be fine. And then you just select a color, call that one red, and then it adds red here, and then you can just drag that into the timeline, and bosh. Oh my god, my laptop is making an absolute racket. Can you hear that? That's insane. So point number three is to lower the playback resolution. Now, this is a point that Peter McKinnon touched on in his video. This is just a different way of doing it. Don't ask me what's the better way. Probably his, but anyway, this is how I do it. This little box here, you've got playback resolution, especially when you've got a thumbnail that's really small you know you, i don't have much space on this screen but even then you you don't need it full playback if you've got a slow processor and mine's not the best you're really going to struggle playing it back full so i always stick it to a quarter usually now tip number four is to drag to the end of the clip now there could be a better way of doing this but this is just the way i know so say you want to get exactly to the end of just one clip i want to get to the end of that one but i'm moving it and i'm not quite sure that I'm at the end of the clip from a distance. All I need to do is click on it, and then you see this little area opens up here. Now this is like a mini timeline just for that clip, so all you need to do is just drag all the way to the end, and now you know you're at the very end of that specific little cut clip. And similarly, you can just drag to the start as well. Works both ways, whatever floats your boat. And last, but by no means least, tip number five is actually not in Premiere, but it's to use Handbrake. Now this was a program I was made familiar with in my last job. It just massively reduces file size. I'll show you a little example. So this is some work I've been doing for Mr. Charlie Roxburgh recently. Uh, just a little animation. And you can see the MOV file is 427.2 megabytes. The equivalent MP4 would be about 20, I'd say. Um, but when you drag it into Handbrake, it pops out a 6.4. Open Handbrake. I've already dragged it in here. I'll just drag it in again. Um, all of these, it just takes a little bit of time to put it in. You've got all of these different settings. The only thing really is the frame rate you might want to change to whatever is relevant because it doesn't always capture that. But yeah, all you do is that. On browse down here, set where you want the file to go. Make that and then click start. And you're on to a good one. So those are my five Premiere Pro tips in three minutes. I think it came under. I hope it did. I'm, I've been getting better with my timing. I want to make this nice and short and sweet and to the point. And the whole video won't be more than five minutes because I love to blabber on as you can see because that's exactly what I'm doing. If you've liked this video, please, please, please drop a like. Subscribe if you're new and you want to see more videos like this kind of thing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. I've been Tomo. This is the Tomo Plus YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. ta -da. Hey, Han. You're right. Is it all right? I'll call you back in like 10 minutes. I'm literally recording a video. <laughs> I'll call you back in a minute, all right? All right, love you. Bye, 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 bye. Hannah, you're a pain.